decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Vallejo, California, Magnifico. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Like, nice move for punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lee. Yeah. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Real nice body kick lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 
Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Watch the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Three minutes to go. Big punch land. Nice combination of strikes there by Liz. Whiffs on the right hand. Big kick lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Lips. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. on coming with these shots to the liver. Looking up, that is how you scramble, folks. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Big ball from Westland. Now he gets back in range. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Boxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful body. Just a slip there. Back and forth we go here. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Nice leg kick. That hurt sound means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Just missing on the counter there. Nice head kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice one, two there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to hammer that big leg. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Strong defense.
was there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Just misses with the right. Get the turtle in that kick. Three minutes to go in the round. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Takedown defense holds up. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, big head kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You there? All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing a kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right punches there. Changes his stance. Yeah. 
nice kick. It up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Swing and a miss by Lee. Let's get that out now. Let's go. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Trying to double up on that jab. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Just over three minutes to go now. Single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. How about that shin? Big kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Lands the inside leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to Strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low as he comes right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Big head kick lands. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just misses with a left hook there. And they separate. Big head kick land. Final seconds. Gets stoned by that leg kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did. Okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Great punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, can't put any weight on it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. They continue to exchange. Stick with it there to complete the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Finds a home for the left hand there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches to Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's trying to take out that one. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, perfect head kick there. That he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Hard shots landing on both sides here. to go now. Just misses there with the left. Big head kick. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. One minute remains in round four. What a Underneath that left elbow, he is badger in that left side of the bottom. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice punch there. Oh! Every time these guys 
come together, man. You just hear the punches and everything landing. How about those five minutes? Hey, Alright, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Leg kick. Put him up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big body kick. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. To the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, big head kick. Oh, oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Nice straight punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kick the fight. Visibly limping here. Tie now. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Wow! What a fantastic. Oh. He's looking for that left hand. Nothing. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. He got it back! Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gauge posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. That was a nice strike. Under a minute now to go in the fight. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. 
beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here, too. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, six seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout, Magnifico! Oh, and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.